Yes, thank you so much for clicking on this video. You're the best. <laughs> Welcome to the best channel in the whole world. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to break down my new song, Runaway, um, which is like a hard, liquid, um, liquid drum bass song with my vocals that's coming out uh, on the 1st of June, so in a couple of weeks, um, being released uh, by the Juice Box, which is the first label that I'm working with. And I'm um, very, very excited for it. I've been working on the track for more than a year. And I'm going to break down the Ableton project file for you guys today in this video. Hopefully it doesn't get too boring. Um, and if you make it to the end, fair fucking play. Like, you're a legend. Like, um, let's fucking have it. <laughs> I wanna run away. down the different sections and talk through some of the tips and tricks that I've um, added to various different things and hopefully you guys can learn learn some things um, and it will help you with your with your songs um, so there's the, the main drum group here um, with the kick and the snare um, uh, the, the main bass with the sub um, and then those like bassy perky sounds that come in then you've got the vocals, some harmonies, and some other added in little run, run, runs. And then you've got some of the vocal swells and the atmospheric um, elements in the bottom here. So I'm going to start off with um, just uh, going through the drums. Um, start with a kick and snare. Pretty chunky kick, chunky snare. They're the, they're the main elements. Um, that drive it forward. Snare, we've got a bit of reverb, a bit of sausage fattener, kick a bit of sausage fattener, nothing too crazy on these ones. Um, pretty standard pattern, except a um, um, couple of double kicks, mainly after the second drop. Um, here's the whole project file, what it looks like. Um, uh, after the second drop, it's all double kicks, um, but for the first one, it's just the, the one time it's double kick. And then uh, I've got two breaks on the top. Um, they're pretty background vibes. Just like keeping things rolling forward, um, really just a bit of top end um, and really wide. Um, just some little hats. And then um, the main thing that's like you know build building a building a basic loot like that isn't isn't too difficult. Um, um, uh, for me, it's all about what you do with these uh, with these change arounds, and um, I love using this uh, thinner device that I've created here, um, which you can see in action, where it brings it back in. Um, so, like, takes it away, and then it brings it back in, slow but sure, and boom, 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 boom. Um, and then you get you get other ones where there's a bit of uh, reverb in there as well on the snare. Bring it back in. Uh, those are quite sweet, um, and I've got them throughout the track. One of my favourite ones, actually, the last drop, where it's just the, this little break that comes back in. Um, so you just get like a little, tsh -tsh -tsh and then boom, boom, straight back in. Because like, man, yeah, it's so important what you do in those f last couple seconds before the drop to get people's body moving, getting them back in that groove, and then giving them a bit of something different, and then bang, you're back in. Um, so yeah, that's what I like doing with automating at the top here. I'll give you like the first drop, just kick snare, big reverb, and then back in. Um, so yeah, that's the extent. I've got this little kick hat thing here, which is um, just a little hi-hat played at the same time as the kick. And um, I use that to sidechain um, all of my elements uh, to the kick so that everything else can duck when the kick pops through. Um, now I'm going to talk about the bass, the um, for sure biggest um, part of this song. Um, the thing I've spent the, by far the most amount of time on. Um, I'll just play it for you guys. So it's like, um, it's a evolving liquid bass, um, which, um, you know, goes up, up and down in this random pattern I created. Um, and um, evolves quite a lot over the track. You you get points where it plays along with the the vocal, um, like here. Um, I'm a runaway. 
I'm a runaway. I always like it when there's like interactions between the different instruments in the song, like the bass copying the the lyric and um and yeah, bringing it up like the look, the bass lines down here, but then you get those super high um, piercing like you know the bass is controlling the track at that point for sure. Um, and then I got a lot of automation, which I'll talk through. Um, I'll talk through my um, the effects rack and what's going on. So I'm giving some extra extra dirt to the top end. It's just the top end, bit of erosion, extra saturation, bit more trash in there. And you can see it's just fucking raping your eardrums right in the corner. Um, and then you've got the main um, bass. Um, um, yeah, um, and then I've got uh, a, a few couple of things going on in Serum. Um, um, I got this. I found like this YouTube video on like some um, uh, on like a, a bass similar to one of Monroe's ones, and I um, I kind of like semi copied it just for like a little bit, just to get the the oscillator and a couple things in the global, and then um, and then I, I've gone on and done a lot of uh, separate work on it. Most of the um, or, 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 um, um, uh, most of the modulation um, is going on in this filter here which is basically opening up the sound so like allowing more of that top end um, you can see it all going on with this blue little mark here so as it opens up and then it's shaking you see it shaking like that that creates that whoa, 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 whoa sound um, and, um, and really like um, makes it sound powerful in that top end um, so that's what these modulations are doing, more or less. Um, and then let's keep going. What else we got? A bit EK to cut the bottom because um, we got the main sub pumping through here. Um, and then, um, and then yeah, we got it side chain to a lot of things. So like it ducks for the kick, it ducks for these bassy perks, um, it ducks for the main vocal as well. That's because I want this bass to be the most powerful element of the track, but it's important that those other things, when they do pop through, that they can cut through the bass. Um, and then, yeah, like what, a little limiter to group process it. Um, and then, yeah, look for the se second drop build up. I've got these like, and then I got this double um, layer to give that extra power and width. Tim was one that came up with that idea. He was trying to persuade me to do it fucking like up here. Listen to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, in, in the end, um, in the end, I didn't stick with that, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> okay, um, the sub doesn't need much talking about. Let's move on to these perks. Um, this is what really drives the energy in this song. Um, um, little build up, just like slowly introducing them with, with a lot of reverb, and they're kind of in the background. Um, and then they come in. You got these like wow. Boom, boom, boom. So much like um, ping pong echoing in the corners. Bam, boom, 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 bam, bam, boom, boom, boom. I'll play it without the verbi echoes, and you can just hear like how different it is. Um, like um, just the original sound. Boom, 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 bam, boom, 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 and then add in these. Boom, boom. I know, wait, okay. Add in these, they're coming in a sec. That's just a, um, a ping pong delay with some extra reverb and some, comp um, some compression. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with this. Like, um, obviously, limiter, a couple other things. There's a lot of um, modulation, obviously, again. Um, uh, just like bit of extra reverb in the build up, um, bit of uh, bit of distancing um, in the from the reverb as well, and then and then how much I want these echoes popping through um, at the 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 volume of the echoes and the feedback of how long the echoes last for. So I'm able to control that over the course of the whole track and um, have it evolving and um, and you know keeping things interesting. Wow. But yeah, that's quite a, quite a nice sound and really gives that techy feel to the song. Um, I'll play I'll play the the, the drums, um, the bass, um, all together for the second. <laughs> 
second drop, spice it up a bit. Huh? Sorry, I forgot to add the drums. <laughs> Let's play, um, let's play just the drums with those perks. Because they, you know, you can really feel how they drive the track on. Um, and they combine quite nicely with the, with the drums. Okay, and then let's go on to the vocal, which is my vocal. Um, I originally had a lot more kind of singing in it, but I've um, I cut it back a bit and just kept it to the the basic basic vocal. Um, so we got backing vocals in the build up, oh, a bit of atmosphere, um, a bit of run run run. I'm a run away with a lot of reverb and distance, you know, just to like set the tone that there's a vocal in this song. And then we got a I'm a run away, run away, echoed around, run, 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 echoed as well. Everything kind of just like slowly feeling overwhelming as the build up comes. Uh, I want to run away, I want to run away, I want to run away, I'm a run away. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, whew, I don't know how much detail I need, I should go into with the processing for these vocals, but obviously there's a lot, a lot going on. First step is harmonies. So I've got a pitched higher harmony, pitched lower harmony, um, just to give it a bit extra, um, width, width and, um, and height, like, because I'm, I've, I've got one of them pitched the left, one of them pitched the right. I've also got these backing vocal harmonies below, which I've, I'm sung down at a lower level. These and then I've got um, and then that's the main one oh, Jesus um, and then yeah I've got some some DSing to take away the S sounds because they can be quite um, intruding and then two levels of compression one to cut the tops one to um, just bring down the vocal overall but I also do a lot of work in the audio clips to try and make them all at a similar uh, uh, level of loudness um, and then the compression doesn't need to do as much work and then um, I've got my favorite little um, uh, heat for the vocals teeny little bit of um, and why not, not a teeny bit so a bit of color from the sausage fattener um, and a bit of decapitator on the the E setting can be quite nice, but these are uh, these aren't the strongest. They're all at pretty low dry wet levels, and um, and that's just to add a little bit extra something to it, um, uh, just to process it, process them all together, and give it a bit of extra oomph. And um, and then I've got the delays and verbs. Um, let me play the vocal without these, and you can um, really start seeing what's. Going on. Oops, sorry. I'm not sure what I was doing. There. Uh, I was taking you through the. Oh, sorry. I was taking you through the processing and the backing vocals by accident. Um, but the same thing's going on with uh, the main vocals. Um, but yeah, let's take away. Let's take away the verbs for the. You can. Hear. So that's what the original vocal sounds like. Not the best singing ever. And then I'll chuck in these um, delays and reverbs. So I've got one verb. Um, all of these are compressed back to the vocal so that the vocal can always cut through them. And then I've got a, a th um, 30 second delay, an eighth delay, and a, a half ping pong delay as well. And a lot of these are modulated to come in and out, especially the ping pong, because that can be quite um, long. But like that, man, that like, gives the vocals so much more, like a um, bit of reverbs, bit of delays, like um, 
um, so so vital. Um, and then have I got any top end? Yeah, I've got a glue compressor, I've got a bit of Soothe, a bit of Draw Master, I've got my classic finning device so I can fin it away if I want to. Definitely make one of these yourself. Um, just fucking two auto filters and a, and, um, and yeah. I'll do a tutorial for it if I get three million likes on this video, yeah. <laughs> And then um, a bit of EQ in, a um, bit of EQ in the vocal. Um, cut the low ends a bit, make sure the pure highs don't cut through. Um, and yeah, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the extent of the vocals. I've got a couple like run runs in there. like, um, And like, I, yeah, I did have a lot more vocals written for this and I had a whole intro where I sang it. But I, I, the more and more I was like, nah, I want this to be a hard tune. I don't want like a big slow vocally start. Like I want it to just build up and be fat, you know. And then, um, yeah, we got the vocal swells at the end. Um, these are like, um, so I would take this vocal, add a long reverb onto it and then record that in a new audio track. Um, and um, so like, yeah, like, that's what this is uh, and then like chop them around and just like get them panning around get them right in the, the corner of your ears um, you've got some jittery vocally things got some atmospheric stuff maybe I slightly overdid it with all this shit and then some distorted ambient sounds like um, uh, just to give yeah just to give it, give it and then I got these crashing sounds just to give a bit of top end as well with a lot of reverb there's a lot of reverb going on in these ones just generally for sure um and um and they just add add, add to the track a lot um like in the second slowdown um <laughs> Also help cover the vocal a little bit with some um, nice stuff in that kind of mid-high region um, that isn't the most dominating in this song um, because mainly literally just those that bass these which are which are pretty low um, they're hitting around there so there's a lot going on here so the vocal is quite empty here but with all of that like um, vocal swells and stuff that fills up that area and then yeah I mean I haven't got anything on the master at the moment uh, I did do my own pr um, master but um, luckily um, the juice bot's got somebody to master it for me and um, there we go I'm not sure much else needs saying um, if you got any questions leave some comments like if anyone actually made it this far into the video then like yeah you've probably got to be like my best friend so big ups to you yeah um, love you so much um, <laughs> and um, yeah I hope somebody maybe found this useful in some way and um, yeah hopefully it helped get you a little excited about my song as well um, peace out um, and fuck off <laughs> <laughs>